Last episode, we began our adventure in this world. We managed to get established with a manual cobblestone and wood farm, a mob farm, and we even managed to get villages. But that's not enough. If you used all the mechanics of this game to your advantage, how far could you go? This is episode 2 of Micro Skyblock. I wanted to sort out a few issues in this episode. We were always running out of cobblestone since it takes so long to mine. So one of the goals for today is to create an automatic cobblestone farm. I actually came up with a design for it myself since we don't have access to some of the resources that other cobblestone generators use. So for example, this farm uses a waterlogged leaf block instead of obsidian. The only issue is that it uses a lot of pistons. So we will have to build an iron farm. And to do that, we need to build a villager breeder. So let's get right into it. We already had two villagers and also carrots, so this ended up being very easy. I even connected a small trading hall to the tunnel the villagers would end up in. That way we could automatically fill up the trading hall. The nice thing about having a trading hall is that we can easily get name tags, which are going to be essential for the iron farm. Speaking of which, I'm going to use this design by KelbMC for a few reasons. The cells are very easy to set up as they only require some blocks, 3 bats, 3 villages and a name tag zombie. The farm is also very easily expandable, so while I'm only going to build 4 cells, we could make this farm 16 times more efficient. So I build the foundation of the first layer and finish the first cell. This tunnel in the middle would have hoppers at the bottom that would collect the iron, but you need iron for hoppers, so I had to kill the golems manually first. After I put the hoppers in, I realized that I would have to use another way of killing the iron golems. The original design uses lava to kill them, but we only have one lava bucket and we need that for the cobblestone generator. So I had a great idea. Just leave it empty. No, really, this is the killing chamber. Eventually there will be so many iron golems in there that they die of entity cramming. So I went through the numbers and wow, that's a lot of iron golems. And a lot of lag. Luckily, the killing chamber ended up becoming a pinball machine. Don't ask me why this happened, but it works and now there's a bit over 100 iron golems down there instead of a few hundred. So with one layer in place, this farm would now produce an iron ingot every 3 seconds. Iron is going to be one of the most useful resources we can get. We can use it to trade for emeralds, which is going to be important for gathering a lot of materials like redstone. We can use it to make anvils. And most importantly, pistons for the new cobblestone generator. We also needed sand for it. So I bridged over to the desert island and realized that all of it is made of sand and there's nothing below it to support the sand. So once we update it, it would all fall down into the void. So I made a little platform below it to catch the sand and the cactus and brought them home. Finally I got all the resources I needed. This farm consists of 4 stone generators, which push the stone into the middle where a TNT duplicator then blows it up. This is a really smart TNT duplicator designed by Iceberg Lattice that doesn't use any coral at all. I don't even know if he can get coral in this world, so this was very helpful. Other than that, it's just a redstone clock mixed with a few monostable circuits. And finally, after hours of manually digging cobblestone, we could finally get it automatically. And not just that, this farm is really fast. It produces around 32,000 cobblestone per hour. And to be fair, there are really fast cobblestone generator designs out there. But this one is very cheap and doesn't break if it's partially unloaded while active. So now we have infinite cobblestone, which is good and all, but what if we had another disposable building block? We could use iron for this, but the farm is just not efficient enough yet. Well, since we have a lot of villagers, there's nothing stopping us from building even more layers of this farm. So with all the materials collected, let's get going with today's final project. At this point, we get 5000 iron ingots per hour, or around 8.5 stacks of blocks. That should be enough for the time being, but I want to eventually finish this farm. For now, we should set our eyes on one thing and one thing only, renewable dirt. We have everything we need to make the farms necessary to get it. I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye.